Hello and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be looking at a long delayed episode of Bobo's Big Adventure. This came out quite a while back and I just never got around to doing an episode on it. And in fact, I had already played it a little bit, I think right after or right during when I started doing this series. Uh, so it's a mashup of all kinds of really sweet Nintendo games and all kinds of crazy references and humor, and it's uh, a little bit on the violent side and a little bit crazy and wild, but, you know, you guys are up for that, I'm sure. Uh, so I won't delay, let's just get right into it, because there's a cutscene at the beginning. Uh, this is a free game, uh, it's actually donationware, so if you guys uh, find this entertaining, I, I highly recommend throwing a donation over to the developer. And of course I will put the links in the description as I always do. So we start out with the titular double dragon scene. Uh, dude beats up your kid, a bow boy. And then here you are. I think that kitten's gonna be safe, right? No, no. Shadow's just there to mess with you. Poor thing. So a bobo lands, as always, in a giant pile of thrown cement everywhere. Realizes his a bow boy is missing. And just like that, our quest to go find him and save him begins. So there's all kinds of crazy levels in this. Uh, obviously this is the double dragon level, but there is a, a Zelda level, like a punch out level, a balloon fight level. There's like at least four or so more than that. Uh, so I map my controls over to my 360 controller as I always do. Uh, very simple controls. Uh, there's an A and a B basically, or uh, A and S. Uh, which are the normal keyboard controls for it, and then if you combine them when your rage meter goes up high enough, you get a bonus sweet attack like that. So, pretty simple. Uh, if you've played Double Dragon before, you should feel right at home. You're gonna have to take out this Goomba here. Ricky Sticks and Grumpy McGee all have to suffer at my hands. Look, a Chinese schoolboy? What is this guy doing here? Oh, oh, I ate his head. That'll happen. So there's those Newgrounds achievements, which are, I don't know if those are welcome or annoying, depends on your perspective on it. Oh, hey, it's the guy from, what is it, Skate or Die? Get out, no, keeps hitting me. Can I throw the body at him? Yeah, I can. Come back, I'm gonna get you this time. Ha! So how do I get up here, because there's some Donkey Kong barrels. Uh-oh, Kid Nicky's here. Gonna hit me with sticks. Chin Salabim. And of course, keeping with the humor, there's some great little uh, off the beaten path Easter eggs and stuff. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna survive long enough to show you a lot of them, but still. I am remarkably bad at this, actually. I didn't think it was so hard. I mean, I knew it was hard, but I didn't think it would be like very difficult right at the beginning. Did you notice that little reference to Street Fighter 2 when I get hit with that barrel? It actually, I think it uses a scaled down version of the sprite from when you get lit on fire in that. Oh, okay. Can't use his barrels against him, huh? About time to get some vengeance on stupid Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah, there's your kid. I wonder if I could have gotten to him in time. These freaking greasers. Expecting to have butterfly knives snick snacking everywhere. Bubba Hanks, huh? I like that they have names. Helps you really get into it. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can use this barrel to finish them off, and then I'm going to try and do that classic double dragon secret. It's a little unfortunate that I've already had some of the wonder and craziness spoiled for me in this game, but at the same time, I didn't really want to wait. So it's a uh, River City Ransom guy and the the two spies from Mad Magazine, Spy versus Spy. All right, there they go. Off to hell or whatever. Now I gotta fight a bearded barrel. I really hate fighting things with beards. I'm usually quite sympathetic to their cause, but you know, judging from a Bobo's appearance. I believe he just keeps a mean mustache, he's not a beard man himself, so I gotta go with that. Um, oh, is this not the right... I thought this was... oh, I guess it's this next wall at the end. Who's this guy? Charles Barkley or something? Goomba. 
Ransom girl. Oh, just ate her head as well. Well, I can get some rage or health back or something. I didn't look at which meter went up. Might as well use the explosive body. Pretty useful. Alright, it's this one here. Yep, just like old times. And uh, how amazing that the Super Mario 3 music is playing. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is a private party. Yep. I guess I don't get to hang out there. Oh well. So let's go in. And as always, fight the ridiculously hard boss. I should probably be using my rage meter, huh? I just remember that I can do such a thing. Wow, I can't, like, get up. This dude is just crazy. I want to try and get him on this conveyor belt. There we go. Shooter Gavin. <laughs> Alright, much easier when you use that conveyor belt, except actually he has rocket boots. So I guess that isn't an option this time. That's too bad. See, I like how it messes with you a little bit based on what you probably remember from the classic game. Not really fair that this dude has a gun, but I guess not really fair that I'm giant either. I wonder if you can knock him in again. Am I, like, knocking all his clothes off? What's going on there? So there's apparently a two-player mode for this if you unlock it, I guess. Because it's not available when you first start up the game, it looks like. Oh, crap. I'm done. And this game just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Like, they actually managed to find a way to uh, actually string together a story out of it. And when you see what I'm going to go through in a moment, you'll know it's definitely pretty zany. Man, this guy is tough. Just freaking die. There. Alright, now they set me up. Oh, there he is. Is that Jimmy or Bimmy? Can't remember. And down I go into the dungeon. All kinds of strange shaped skulls down here. Now what is this I've found? Looks like a can. I'll just eat the whole thing, why not? Need nourishment to keep growing my mustache. Don't feel so good now. Oh, well, that's what you get for eating a freaking aluminum can. I'm not sure we should be watching this. Oh boy. Well, that's one way to get out. Alright, so now we've entered... Underwater Mario Zone. Uh, it's as... strange as it looks. So I apparently have a Yoshi Tongue for some reason. So let's grab all these guys and keep shooting them into each other. It seems to be working out okay for now. Try and keep one on hand. Hey, it's the dude from uh, Mega Man 2 in the Bubble Man stage. Mecha Fish, whatever you want to call him. Take some of his shrimp and throw it at his little doodle bobber on his head. There we go. Watch out. Can I go in here? Yeah, I can. Hey, Bobo, I'm Anne. Or Annie, thank you for saving me. Let's, uh... I could vomit, I could eat, I could hit her mate. Mate is the only nice thing here, so let's do that. Oh boy. Bad chicka wow wow. Oh, well, that's kind of sad. Well, I have some Merbobos now. I guess that's good that I have a, a few more in my species, because I don't really want to, um... Be the only one. That was a very quick gestation period, I have to say. But Abobo's probably happy about it. I mean, as, you know, Kratos has been in the past. Hey, I've got a shield now. That's pretty cool, I guess. Um, wow, all of a sudden my controls just started to be weird. Uh-oh. TMNT electric crap. I can't really do much about that. How am I supposed to swim through that? That's just impossible. Swordfish... Oh, it's Bubble Man. What's he doing here? Full rage. Typhoon time. Hopefully that should wipe out Bubble Man fairly quick. 
He probably isn't even the boss for this level, is he? He was just blocking that wall. Whoa. I'd like to eat that crab. Oh, it's Karnov. What's he doing down here? There's got to be like a hundred video game references or more in this. Probably way more than that, actually. Oh, totally missed. Yeah, Karnov is a pretty weird game, actually, uh, in its own right. It actually seems like a real version of a game like this. Like it was trying to parody something that didn't exist yet. Uh, there's just a wall here. Oh, right, I gotta wait for the boss to show up. I'll just eat that entire school of octopi. It's the Jaws fish. Shark. Jaws. <laughs> it's the Jaws Jaws. How's it going there, Star Wars and Jaws? I'm not gonna do the voice. It's okay, none of you have any idea what I'm talking about. Alright, Jaws. You need to stick around on the screen a few more seconds at a time, because it's kind of annoying to hit you when you don't stay on there for very long. Oh, oh, you're... I can get you still. There we go. Bigger boat. Oh, crap. Jaws just got bisected. Kinda deserved it though. Alright, so now we gotta fight real Jaws. Who has a frickin' laser beam strapped to his head. Alright, Big Daddy, we got you. Shouldn't be that hard. Uh-oh, now he's gonna shoot directional laser beams. Actually, it may be kind of hard. Hey, a Tetris block! Hey, I'd like to eat that. I'm really glad I have a Yoshi tongue randomly for this level. Oh, my insides came out. Oh, I don't have my thing in my mouth anymore. Ah! Can I even get a Tetris block this time? No, I guess I can't eat those. I like that they're the green Tetris blocks too, which is I think from level 8. That was pretty much my favorite color scheme. Oh man, did his... I think his health all went back up. I oh, know it didn't. There's a separate health bar just for the laser beam. Full rage. I think I should probably not use it, because he's about to be dead in a second anyway. Like I said, it's a little violent, but, you know, it's just a stupid fish. Now I'm on fire, like a good abobo should be. And we're gonna go through this pipe and see where we go next. Hopefully somewhere awesome. It's pretty much always somewhere awesome. Yeah, I'm coming out of the pipe, but I'm coming out the wrong way. Oh, there we go. What is this, burger time or something? I'm usually pretty good at my references. Uh, not sure. Urban Champ, okay, I guess that's... its own thing. Alright, dude. Um, I really don't have time for this. Can you just... F off, please. You're just gonna keep doing that, aren't you? Alright, well, just get out of the way, please. Can I go through here? No. How many times do I have to punch and kick this dude in the face? Oh, I guess until he rolls off the screen. Discount brothel? That is not something you generally want to discount on. Can you please just get out of my way permanently? Real tough guy, though. Certainly can take a punch. Hey, it's the River City Ransom guy again. He's very happy in there, whatever he's doing. Um, please? Just fall in that hole? Can we... Can we work this out? In a violent way. Finish him. Alright, I'll use my foot for that. Oh, or my hand, even though I hit kick. No mercy. Alright, I decapitated that poor little man. And this lady up in the window thinks it's a pretty cool thing, so let's, I don't know, yeah. Splatter him on her. Fatality. What if I want to do a friendship? Friendship? Again? Alright, Zelda level. Now I'm not going to play through the whole game, in fact I'll probably stop when I finish my last life. 
But I did want to show you how crazy this game is and how many different crazy places it ends up going. I actually don't remember how to get through this dungeon. Uh, it ended up being a little bit more complicated than I thought it was at first glance. There's a, a weak wall or something in there somewhere. Oh. Yeah, this game looks really easy when people are playing it, like when you're watching somebody play it, but when you play it yourself, it, you'll see it's it's definitely pretty tricky. Hey, I lost my shooting sword already. Really didn't want to do that. Alright, good. I want to keep my projectiles for these Octorock. I don't know all the Zelda enemy names, just that one. <laughs> Well, probably a couple other ones, but I don't know. Some kind of knights. I don't know. I'm just gonna make myself look stupid if I keep talking, so I'll just shut up. Um, get the map. Familiar shape. Oh, I think I know what shape. Oh, yeah. Looks like an arrow, right, guys? Straight as an arrow. Alright, I've got some rage built up. Um, I think I should just use it, just so you can see it, because who cares, right? Not the proper place to use it. Obviously, you would save it for a boss or something more serious, but I just wanted to, uh, show you what that looks like. Stalfos, right? Skeletons? I think that's right. I gotta bone up on my Zelda information here. Um, nothing going on. Oh no, is that staircase down in the corner there? I didn't see that. Alright. Out. And for some reason we've got a couple of enemies from Metroid hanging out down here. Uh, or at least the one on the bottom looked like one. Alright, so we're gonna pull a page from Binding of Isaac and use that to cross gaps. Pretty sure it was actually not from Binding of Isaac, but I'm just saying that to be referential again. I'd be kind of dumb if my uh, video game reference knowledge was so compartmentalized that I got some of these but not some of the other ones. Whatever, you get the idea. Uh, so I need to go find a key, and now I can cross this gap. Choco Kiss. Seems like this would have been a prime location for some Lolo references. Hey, shy guys. Not so shy, are you? Oh, good, I've gotten my projectile sword back. I don't anticipate that I'm gonna make it much past this level if I even do that. Uh, these guys you can't fight, right? These are just statues, yeah. Oh, which one are you? You're the, the uh, Dig Dug, right? Yeah, yeah. Blow me up and... I'm fat. Don't let the bad guys pop you. Crap. This sounds like a miserable thing to be. Can I just leave? No, I'm too fat for that. I kind of look like Eric Cartman right now. Alright, I think I'm in the clear. Yeah, okay, cool. No fatty pop. You better not do that again. He's probably gonna too. He's a big jerk. Oh, come on, seriously? I should have saved him for le Oh, they spawned in some more anyway. I know, don't let them pop me. Now I'm just gonna die in one second because I can't get away from all these. Alright, if I can live through this twice, that'll be impressive. I should have just knocked it into this rock like it wanted me to do. Can't do it when I'm fat, can I? Alright. Which way do I need to push you? That way. Alright, screw this room. Only if I had projectiles would I mess with that at this point. Ah, there we go. I'm not going back though, don't worry. Do they have a name for those spiky things? Probably did, I just don't remember what it is. Alright, so this will put me out on the other side of this water area, and then I can actually backtrack to that door with the keyhole. 
I remember this particular section of the game was disproportionately large compared- I think now that I have to see him, I'm gonna just have to kill him. He caused me too much pain and suffering. He doesn't even give you anything? Super lame. I'd like to see like a Legacy of the Wizard reference in here or something like Mylon Secret Castle. Alright, here we go. Whoa, it's really red in here. Full rage. Let's see how long I can hold on to that. Let's go up. Hey, it's the compass. Pectite, right? Oh, or yeah. I did actually remember that name, but I didn't say it in time. T-Hat? Is that their actual name? I kind of feel like it might not be, but I don't know. I'd like to see an infographic of, like, the physiology of some of the enemies from Zelda, because they're really strange looking. <laughs> Alright, can't go down, gotta go up. Okay, I guess my rage is semi-permanent. I cannot do anything with this door, right? Because my key is one-time use, like most keys would be. Ah! My D-pad was being weird. Well, as is to be expected, it's the 360 D-pad, it's always kind of weird. Oh, it's too dangerous to go alone. The old man hates beef? What about these fires? Are they gonna shoot at me? Probably are. Ah! What the hell? It's like a bob bomb or what is he supposed to be? Hey, I didn't get hurt. Don't call me that big of an idiot. Okay, we've got... Choco Kisses. These are from Zelda 2, right? Those things? If they're even from anything, they might just be stupid slimes. Alright, we've got another movable block down here. Only one way that could go. Oh, lots of spikies in here. Let's make a d mad dash for it and everything is fine. And around we go. Don't jump on me, dog. Oh, Isaac. So many influences from Zelda. Those are the leapers. Clearly. Alright, now I guess I have to backtrack all the way back around again. I seem to remember this being much more confusing than it is. Oh, come on. His freaking leg was sticking out around the corner. Give me more hearts. I want to have a shooty sword again. It's the best kind of sword. We are kind of wandering around in a giant shooty sword. Don't worry, they won't get that one. <laughs> I know, you hate beef. I'm not gonna bring you any beef, though. At least, I don't intend to. So, key room was up and to the right, and then we gotta get through all the statues shooting at me. Not a big deal. They're weak to walking. Mandala? Is that what that's called? Oh, whoa. Jeez, I'm taking a whole bunch of damage. I did so well up until that. You're just not very easy, easily navigable. Navigatable. Mobile. How about mobile? That seems like a better word. No! Jeez. Thing's a freaking jerk. Alright, so let's go downstairs, because down is usually better. Hey, beef! What are the odds? I didn't expect to run into some of that here. Yay, full health. Uh, should I go on, or should I go give the guy beef? I think I'm gonna go give him some beef. 
Wow, that one just homed right in on me. I wonder if I have, like, an inventory or something. Probably not. I know. Uh, okay. Oh. Apparently he's vulnerable to beef as well. Well, I guess we're all kind of vulnerable to that in some ways. Not sure what the point of that was. I didn't really get anything other than that strange event happening from it. So, whatever. Let's just move on. Well, this sword is definitely a bit better. No hearts from those. Oh. Did I really just block that? I guess so. I didn't mean to, it was a complete accident. Ghost, there's an interesting name for them. Definitely wouldn't have remembered that. I kind of want to vanquish all the ghosts because you never know, maybe something weird will happen. Oh, not in this case. If only I had Polyphemus. Hey, a weird dragon. You're like what the dragon from Adventure wished he looked like. Kind of buck-toothed and awkward. Alright, I think I'm probably gonna die in a second. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this yet, but every level or every area that you finish, you actually will open up uh, on the level select screen, so you can actually warp back to this point, so it's not a huge deal to die. But still, if you want to get, like, a high score or whatever, I don't know, are there scores in this? Uh, then you will want to complete it in one go. Well, and anyway, just to prove you're a real man. Any serious Abobo player won't mess around with continues. And I'm clearly not at that point in my Abobo career yet. Alright, P-Hat. No! Oh, come on, I gotta kill everybody. You never know who's gonna have a heart. Can I at least get a spirit heart? Barely reached that thing. Um, do I have a key? Oh, apparently I do. Right. Where are you from? You look familiar, but I don't know what the reference is. They're quite difficult to get around. I guess that would be the master key. I feel like I should kill all of these things. I'm probably just gonna die in the process. I'll just use my rage here, why not? So I can refill my health also, because there's a fairy. Yeah. Fairy frag, okay. So yeah, as you can see, we've spent, like, three times longer on this particular level than we have on any of the ones previous to it. This guy's trouble. Is he supposed to be, like, Moses or something? <laughs> I don't like those bombs. They make me stressed out. Alright, gotta avoid this orb here. Oh, I gotta kill all the enemies. I probably have to kill the poles on the sides of the room. Yep. Before his shield will go down. Can't do anything about that. He's got a magic candle. At least he's not a magic blue candle. So those are much more powerful. Alright, your shield's gone, buddy. Now I'm just gonna beat you to death. You'd think it would be that easy, right? It's never, ever that easy. I'm just gonna use... Oh, my rage is gone. Crap. Oh, am I really gonna die? Lame. Oh, okay, I have a life zero. I didn't realize. I mentioned in a previous episode how you need to get, like, familiar with whether or not you have you know, a relationship with water, or certain things like that at the beginning of a game to sort of establish where you fall into 
uh, the hierarchy of certain video game tropes, and one of those tropes is also, do you have a life zero? Sometimes they keep track of that, sometimes they don't. Oh man, I lost my shooty sword already. That flurry thing is is going nuts on me already. I pretty much took this guy out before without like hardly taking a single hit, and now I'm going to lose my entire health bar on him. Just because of this one jerk. Hey, another heart. Taste the beef. Taste the meat, not the heat. Alright, old man's down to one health. Splits up. What did he do? He turned me into a snail? Oh man, I'm just gonna get freaking killed now. I do like my snail form though, he's pretty cool looking. This is not pleasant for my health bar. So each one of them has their own health bar. Definitely the hardest boss so far. Just trying to kill him in case he dropped a heart. Doesn't appear so. I'm certainly not going to beat the guy after this. So there's actually another form. Whoa. Yeah, of course you have that, buddy. And now he's friggin' million feet tall. And there's a heart there, I don't think I can get to it though, because his head is in the way. There it is. What's he gonna do? I don't remember how this boss fight goes. Oh, okay. Well, sideways beam. I think that's gonna do it for me. Yep. The saw blade's coming down. Alright guys. It's been real. So, a bobo's, ah, a bobo is about to get split open by that. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. He tried, but he just couldn't rescue his son, a bow boy. So thank you for watching a Bobo's Big Adventure. It's been a lot of fun playing this one. I definitely recommend you check this out. And um, yeah, go give it a download. Link's going to be in the description. Head on over to the website, www.indie-impressions.com. Check out the old reviews, the new reviews, everything in between. Uh, head over to the forums, meet some people, check out some contests and such. When you're done over there, head on over to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash indie impression. Uh, leave a like on that, and then all my videos are going to show up right in your Facebook feed. It's nice and convenient like that. That way I come to you instead of you having to come to me. And if you want to leave me any comments, criticism, suggestions, or recommendation for a new game to play on the show that I haven't tried yet, uh, feel free to ask me right via at Rockley Smile on Twitter. And I also have at Indie Impression on Twitter where you can uh, just leave a like or a follow on that and then all my videos will get aggregated to your Twitter feed. So lots of options, lots of different ways to interact with Indie Impressions, and I hope that you will keep coming back because I do another one of these videos every single day. There will be another one tomorrow, and I hope to see you here. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Have a lovely night, and I will see you later.